threw my jig down this bank and this fish just hammered it. This is a big one. This is a big fish. He is pulling. And he got me in a tree. Oh man, please be a bass. If this is a bass, this is a giant bass. Come on, fish, get out of that tree. Oh man. This fish is pulling hard. He's pulling drag out. Man, he's got me in that tree. I hope I can get him out of there. Oh, man, I can feel my line scraping on that tree. It's going to be trashed after this. I hope I don't lose this fish. This is a big fish here. Well, we got it out of the tree anyway. And we just got to get through all these weeds. Man, I hope this is a bass. This is, this is a big fish. Oh, man, it's a big channel cat. A big channel cat. What is with these channel cats eating my bass lures all the time? Man, he's pulling drag again. He ain't done yet. Man, I hope my line holds up. I'm going get him through all these weeds along the bank here. Hopefully I don't break my line or my rod trying to get this fish in. Well, this is a pretty big channel cat here. Oh, I wish it would have been a bass, though. Would have been sweet. Alright, here we go. Let's get this fish up on the bank. Oh, buddy. Come on, Rod. Don't break. Come on, line. Hold it together. Just about got him here. Let's see if we can get a hold of this thing. Got him up here, Shell. He's pretty played out, I think. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. KU. Can't get my hand around him. I'm get a hold of him. I'm just going to have to get him up on the bank. Get my fish gripper out. and Be able to handle him better that way. Don't really want to stick my fingers in his mouth. I have him clamped down on those, so... Get him with the fish gripper here. Yeah, my line's still all tangled up in the weeds. Gonna have to get this jig out. So I can handle him better here. A big channel cat. Have to get a weight on this bad boy. The scale zeroed out here. Let's see what we got. He's still got a little fight left in him. Coming in at 9.9 .9 pounds. After taking off a couple ounces for the fish gripper, that comes out to 9 pounds, 13 ounces. Just shy of 10. Almost had a 10 pounder today. Get a quick measurement on this one. Going to come in at 29 and a half inches. Almost a 10 pounder today. Nine and three quarters anyway. Big fish for this little pond. But she's tired. We need to get her back in the water. So get this fish back in the water and get it released, revived. Away she goes. 
Well, that was fun. On the pond number four, we hooked up with this nice bass on a buzz bait here in this corner. It's a pretty small little city pond here. And the water level is pretty low. Dealing with some pretty shallow water. So I tried the buzz bait. Caught one little one on a jig. Had one jump off on a jig and another one jump off on a lipless crankbait. But the fish really weren't biting at this pond very well, so it was time to move on to pond number five. And we hook up with the bass here on the jig. And this fish ate it pretty good. Decent little large mouth here. And back it goes. I grew up as we moved to pond number six. We're hooked up on the jig again. Another decent little chunk. Fun to catch. Having a pretty good day numbers wise, just not catching any lunkers, except for the big channel cat. And I flip out on the left side of this stump here and catch this bass. Get it off and back in the lake and pitch it out on the right side and catch another one.
So as the sun sinks in the sky, I start catching some bass on the buzz bait here in pond number nine for the day, right away from that fish. I get it right back out there. And hook him again and lose him again. So I had a successful day of pond hopping. Caught a lot of fish. Had a lot of fun. Didn't catch my five pound bass today, but there's always tomorrow. Catch you later.